Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for mo it's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you a nice um, new iPhone app which has just been released from Ableton and is called Ableton Notes. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so I just launched it. It's a nice new little app which allows you to uh, effectively create new musical ideas. So when you start it, you are presented with this uh, view where you have different sets. You, In this case, I have the three default ones. You can click play on each one to listen to them. Like so. You have this three dot for each of the set. You click on that. Here is where you can duplicate the set, rename it, choose a different artwork, take a photo, upload it to Ableton Cloud, share it further using your device or delete it. And of course, you have an option for cancel. At the bottom left here, you have another menu where you can enable Ableton Cloud, um, Ableton Link, and show the touches. You can go on usage of data, the help and privacy and Lego. Now, if you want to create a new set, click on new. You are presented with this view. Of course, on the top left, you can press on the arrow to the left to go back to uh, the previous screen. You can see that a new set called the set one is being created. So let's click on the three dot and rename it. Let's click on the X here and rename these to S, F, M, like so, and press OK. Now let's click again on the SFM to set and you are presented again with this view. Now, if let's start from the bottom here. You have this, this symbol here. Click on it, and you can see now on the left hand side these numbers similar to the view that you have in Ableton Live. So you press on one, for example, here, and it starts to play. And you see here the icon of playing that it is playing, and you can click on it to stop it again, and it will play that row. Okay, of course, if you have clips. So effectively, where you have all these squares on with plus sign, they're all clips. Okay, so um, at the top you see the name again, and then at the top right you have this icon, you click on it, you can activate the metronome, change the tempo, and set a key scale, like in this case C minor, and you can of course test it. And you have an option here which is called export audio, when you have of course some clips then you can export it. Now, if you don't have anything on any of the clips here, if you click on the plus sign, you will go inside that clip to actually create that. Now, let's click on the top left arrow to exit there. Um, or you can press on the icon at the top, which represents the instruments, and you can go inside that clip again. Let's go back to the previous screen. Down at the bottom, you also have this icon here, which is like a mixer. This is where you can mute or solo each of the track, and you can change, of course, the output of each of the track. Again, press on the same icon to go back to the previous screen. Okay, so let's start to record something. So let's click on the first clip. You go inside this view, starting at the top, you have the name, the icon here again, which shows you uh, the access to tempo, a metronome, etc., as already explained. And then at the bottom, you have a tabular view. The first one it represents actually some of the controls which are related to the instrument that you have chosen. And indeed, if you press that icon again, you can go and choose a different, for example, uh, drum kit in this case, but I'll show you that in a moment. So click on them. Then you have access to the um, sample in this case um, for that particular um, instrument. In this case, it's drum. Then you have uh, access to effect for the pad, which are more or less self explanatory, which are really nice, and also the kit effects, like in this case. So let's go back to the first view. At the bottom here, you have um, pads, which you can use to play, in this case, drum kit. As you can see, when you press them, you, you start the recording immediately. And you can see here yeah, there is a representation of the notes that you actually pressed or the pads you actually pressed, like your piano roll. If you wait a little bit, then a couple of seconds, then you press again and it starts the recording. Okay? And this is free recording. If you press on the X here at the bottom, you just exit there. Okay? So if what it says no clip there, click on it. And this is where you can have uh, more information here, where it says no clip I, you click on it, you can have more information about fixed length or 
uh, free length. What I show you at the moment in terms of recording was free length. But if you click on the pass sign here, now you can set it to fixed length. Like for example, why not Wobba? And it will start the recording straight away. You hear the metronome. So let's record something. And if you're okay with it, just press add here at the bottom. And of course, you can stop it here. Now, this is this icon here, which has a symbol of um, um, with a vertical line, and it stands for aligning, which stands for quantizing. So press on it, and it will say quantize to 1 16th. And I'll show you how to change that in a moment. And let's play again. Now, if you don't like the sound of that kit, press that, this icon again, the first one on the tabular view, press on it again and choose another one. So, and you can play while you choose the different kit as well. I like that one. Okay, let's press done. Okay, so that is a nice way to actually record that. Um, if you press again here on the representation of uh, your uh, uh, piano roll, you can actually choose different part of what you have recorded. And if you click and hold, you can also select the different notes that you recorded or events. And then what you can do, you can transpose up and down, like so, up, down. You can delete. Then here it says nudge which will nudge to the left or to the right by the setting which is set here, which in this case will be off, but you can say move them by a quarter. So one is a, move, a nudge to the left and move by a quarter, or one eighth, move by one eighth. And as I said, you can delete to the, um, the notes you're selecting and you can set to, uh, to activate it. Also triplet. Then next you have a menu for quantization and you choose how you want to quantize that and based on the subdivision. And the next you have a menu which allows you to actually set the velocity for each of the selection in the piano roll, for all the notes that you selected in the piano roll. So that's really nice. Remember also at the bottom left, you have also option to undo with the arrow down on the left or to redo when that is available. So let's go back to um, beginning. Let's click press play. So at the moment we have only one because I actually managed to delete it. So let's go back into it like so. And uh, let's record something else again. Actually, before I do that, if I click and hold here where it says one and I move, I can duplicate or delete that as well. So in this case, I go back to as it was by default and I record one clip. Out. One dies. And press OK now. Perfect. So let's leave that as it is. And now let's... Um, Exit and you have a clip. And of course I can press on it and it will play. And it will go, of course, in a loop. Now, if I click and hold what it says one on the left hand side, I can duplicate the entire row and I can delete it as well. The other thing, if I go back to that clip uh, again, and in order to go back when you already have a clip uh, recorded, click and hold. Here is where you can edit the clip, delete the clip, or actually duplicate it. So let's edit it. And we go back into here. And um, this is where you can edit it again. And uh, I haven't showed you this icon at the bottom with a plus sign. So if you click on it, it will say clip one is duplicated in slot number two. And indeed, if you go back to the previous screen, you can see a copy of it, right? So, but now let's delete that. So in this case, I deleted the entire row. So now let's go to the second instrument and let's press on the plus sign and let's record something else. Okay, I don't like the sound. Click on that and then again on that icon and let's change that. Really nice sound inside this application. So really nice. So let's click down on that. Now let's click to activate the left menu here again. And you have different options. You have a view on pads. You have a view on keys and you have view on octaves. So you can go up an octave, down an octave, etc. Really nice. And then also you have an option for repetition. Click on that and let's say I want to repeat this every quarter. So I click and hold on a key. 
really nice. So now let's go back and um, let's close that and record something. And click stop. Okay, and that would be good. So now let's go for recording. Let's fix it to uh, one bar as well. And click add. Really nice, so we have done that. I think at this stage we can probably go up in the menu and deactivate the metrodome because we don't need it anymore. So let's go back to the main menu and now let's click on one on the row to play all the clips. Really nice, click and hold on that uh, clip and edit the clip, stop again the sound. I want to show you that the effects here are different, um, okay, because you have a different preset. Okay, so now let's record something else. Let's go and click on the plus sign. That's nice. So let's record something with this. Okay, let's quantize and there we are. We have created a new clip now. Let's go back. And here we have, we have three clips on the first row or scene. Now let's duplicate the first row, click and hold on one, click duplicate, and let's duplicate that again, like so. Now let's go on the first cell and we say delete, sorry, in the second clip on the first scene, we delete the second and the third um, clip and then we delete this third clip on the second scene or row, like so, so we can move now between them. Really nice. Now let's duplicate these again, like so. Duplicate. Let's now move. Move to the left here of the screen. You enable the view of this uh, view um, option. Click on the sorry on the plus option. Click on the plus option. You can choose another instrument. So let's click on preset, and here you see the different categories of all the instruments that you have available. Really, really nice. Let's go to pad. Juno strings. Let's have these Juno strings here and uh, let's fix the clip to one part and let's record. Okay, let's go back to the initial screen. Okay, I've recorded it down there, so click and hold, I've done that on purpose. So now let's um, uh, show you that you can click and drag and drop clip like so. Really, really nice. And let's adjust the volume as we are playing. <laughs> Really nice indeed. So as you can see, you can create your own songs, your uh, your own ideas. And when you finish, click on the top right and click on export audio. You can export on WAV file on, or M4A. Click export. And now you have your nice export, which contains all the scenes or rows. So let's play. Really nice indeed. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of this new uh, nice app. I really love it. It's really great to use with your iPhone as you are mobile and you can record quick ideas wherever you like, wherever you are. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.